welcome to Joy of Business Radio, hosted by Joy of Business facilitators from around the world, with special shows from Simone Millicis, the founder and creator of Joy of Business. Are you bored or dissatisfied with your work or business? Joy of Business is an invitation to a completely new way of creating. Did you know your business and job can actually be fun and joyful? If what you are currently doing isn't working for you, listen in to this show full of pragmatic tools from Access Consciousness, which change everything in business, from money to finance, staff, creativity, productivity, communication, and beyond. Joy of Business Radio, weekly on Om Times Radio. Welcome, everyone, to the Joy of Business Radio Show. We are making a comeback, but you don't know who's making a comeback because we haven't said who we are yet. I'm Rebecca Hulse. I'm Francesca Sorrentini. And we are back in business, baby. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> so this podcast is about the terrifying task of working and collaborating with other people. As you say, it's correct. It's very terrifying for a lot <laughs> of people. Because the most point, the biggest point of view of everyone is like doing it by myself. I would do it the best. I don't need other people. Exactly. And so we want to explore today what it is that can help you get over yourself in the nicest possible way, but also to be able to create something greater together. You know, when we talk about relationships using the tools of access consciousness, we talk about what if you were only in relationships to create something 10 times greater together than you could apart. And we also have a lot of great ways for dealing with those niggly, shitty little situations that come up with people and make you want to Cut some heads off. Yeah. And also, like, sometimes, like, use a gun. <laughs> We're not, no one no. said anything about murder on this thing. But we get it. People are annoying. Are annoying. <coughs> they create problems. They like problems. They love problems. It's true. <laughs> and they don't finalize projects or they lie to you. All of these little things that actually make you think, oh, if I will be by myself. Everything will be easier. And but if you look at it, your business, and if you look at your business as a hundred times more income as it is now, would you be still the person doing everything and anything? Will you? Mm, what do you get, Rebecca? I don't really get. I don't really get either that it's going to be that much greater. I mean, we were just listening to a wonderful conversation at the seven-day event that we're at in Costa Rica. So hi from Costa Rica. And um, Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness, was talking about if you only have you in your business, you're creating a small world. You need to have more people involved in your universe and in your business for it to grow. Yeah. And how much, like he was saying, and I've been seeing during the years, because me and Rebecca both work with Access Conscious for the global company. And the amount of time I've been surprised and about the brilliance of other people that I would never, ever think. Because you could, like, it's so amazing as well, like considering other people to collaborate with you and see what they are amazing on. Mm-hmm. And also sometimes what they are not amazing on. True. It's still a contribution. That is true. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things that has been great for us is the relief that you don't have to like people to work with them. Um, I actually kind of, I had a sense of this already from being in show business because, you know, we have the phrase, the show must go on, be professional. You don't have to like everyone that you're, you know, performing with. You just need to be able to work together well. But that didn't have a sense of joy with it at the same time. Yeah. And so it, within Access Consciousness, it's been this wonderful work environment from the sense that even though you may not be the best of friends, you can still create something awesome together. Exactly, exactly. Because it's not about friendship or liking. Because no. most of the time, like friendship or family or uh, like you, you don't even really be – you, you cannot really be honest 100% no. on the situation. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, like, oh, my God, I don't want to hurt these people. I don't want to, you know, disappoint them. But in business, what if hurting people, disappointment, it's, they, they are not existing. It's really like 
every choice is based on create greater. And I've been actually, I, I know Rebecca as well, several times during the years, been able, one of the few people be able to work with everyone. And yes. I was wondering myself, I was like, hmm, what is that? Because I might not desire to go with them in a holiday <laughs> or out and drink and have parties. You don't want to braid their hair and have a, have a slumber party? Exactly that. <laughs> but still, like, looking at what they were capable of and what they were contributing. Yeah. And still make the business work and grow. And, grow. and it requires an incredible level of honesty. Like, truly, brutal honesty, not with the other person. Exactly. <laughs> not with the other, but with yourself. Exactly. Because if you're willing to look and see how people function without judgment, then you get to have awareness of the overall situation, the, you know, the bird's eye view, and to be able to make choices not based on your preferences, on your point of view, on your filters, but based on truly, okay, so these are all the people and all the talents and capacities that we have to use to our advantage. So what can we put together to create something greater? Yeah. And you also have to be willing to demand something greater of yourself and requesting of your universe and, and the staff that work with you for that. Because, you know, we've said it probably over 10 times already, create something greater together. But if you're not looking at that and interested in that for yourself, then maybe you want to go and do something else. Yeah. Open a bottle of champagne. Go for a walk. Talk to your cat. Listen to music. Exactly. Music. Because, you know, this is for the people that are demanding and desiring something greater for their business. And what, what you mentioned, right, relationship. And how many times we are in a relationship with a partner, with a lover, and we think that's the lover of our life. That's not really all is true. Mm -hmm. So what if we consider a relationship not like a never-ending thing, yes. but it's more like that it will work the time that actually will contribute to each other or to the business. Yeah. And then you can let it go. So I've been seeing so many times, and that's happened also to me when I was leading the the live coordination for Access Consciousness. We are 180 countries around, 179 probably, 80 countries <laughs> in the world. Translation, live translation in 17 languages. And I remember Simone Milano telling me, oh, you basically want to have people in your gaggle, in my team, that because your team looks like a club. I was like, oh, what do you mean? <laughs> I was actually selecting in my mind people that were already ready for the job. Right. Mm -hmm. The elite club, a exactly. la Francesca. <laughs> <laughs> With the right pair of shoes, they have to dress in a certain way. There's a uniform. <laughs> <laughs> but that's next. And I've been quite often still at that time, but that little wedgie that Simone Milazen gave me, the founder of Joy Business, uh, for instance, make me look at, okay, wh who else? And where else can mm. I find new people contributing to that? And suddenly I can tell you names and occasion where I was meeting people. I was like, you might be someone that could try it out. Yes. And that's really, you know, you know, one of the big topics is workplace discrimination. Exactly. And that's truly coming from the space of judgment. Like, really, when it all boils down to you is your judgment. Mm -hmm. And so what if you truly were able to have no judgments in business? And honestly, it's just a choice. Yeah. And we are not perfect. No. <laughs> we're not always there all the time, but we're always willing to recognize when we're functioning from a judgment and go, okay, look, this is our preference right now. This is what we've decided that we like. Enjoy it for the minute. You don't necessarily have to change everything all in one go, but to be willing to have an awareness of what judgments you do have and be willing to make a choice that will allow for more possibilities to show up. And thank you, Rebecca, for mentioning judgment because, as you say, that acknowledging that you have that judgment, that you have that point of view that doesn't allow you to grow, um, make you as well like, okay, it's fine. Don't judge back yourself. That doesn't really help at all. <laughs> yes, okay, we don't say, need more judgment. Yeah, okay, you can say, oh, well, that has been a very stupid choice. Or, but it's also like allow you to see beyond the, 
the facade of, mm. you know, of people beyond yeah. the border that are your border because we all create borders or a little bit barriers. You know, our our green uh, garden, it's always like comfortable and, and nice to live in. But if you desire to have your business expanding and even having a little bit of more fun on it. What? <laughs> exactly. You're crazy, Francesca. <laughs> we need to work very hard. Yes. Quite a lot. Serious. <laughs> We're drinking champagne right now, by the way. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, really, like, looking at that and how we use the access consciousness tools, it's like when you're willing to stay where you are limiting yourself to mm. the judgment, just the moment that you are looking at, you start changing it. Because whatever you, you have been stuck yourself or something's not working or you have any, any difficulties with, with, with people. Today, for example, someone told me about, well, there is some, one of the, our employees is, is complaining about someone else. And this person might be very mean and might be very bossy. I don't really know. But what I went through, so, okay, empowering that the, the person that apparently was the one abused or mobbed, whatever, I was like, okay, what if you are willing to face to face without, we are talking about no more fighting here in Costa Rica, mm. like without really having a ride, but say, look, this is not really working for me. So what's going on? And you could be surprised. Sorry, go ahead, Rebecca. Well, also, like what we're talking about here is, you know, not being a doormat and being willing to have your own back. Because, you know, so many of these situations can come up when you're not willing to have your own back and be there for yourself. Because, you know, if you don't have your back, who's going to? No. And that's not necessarily to say that, that everyone else in the world is against you, but more going from, you know, the universe rewards action. Yes. And so if you're having your own back, the universe can contribute and you will let it in <laughs> even greater. Yeah. So, and we've got 30 more seconds approximately. I love this topic about having your own back. Me too. So let's talk about this more in the next section. It's really like no one teaches about what does it mean having our own no. back at all and our, our own choices and also being new in business. They could be very different than anything else you have been ever seen before. You just said so many strange things. I know. <laughs> and, you know maybe it's the champagne or maybe it's the excitement of being in this radio show with you. True. It's so <laughs> exciting to be here with you. You may have heard us on our previous radio shows, but we haven't facilitated together in a while. Mm-mm. It's good to be on the bandwagon. Yeah, yeah. I love it. And um, we have other plans for the future, too, we together. Do. Yeah. Stay tuned for more. Mm. So we are in that really awkward, awesome part where we don't know where the track's going to come back in because we're we should know this, but yeah. we don't. So how does it get any better than this? That's another and question you can ask. It's one of the amazing questions of access consciousness and also joy of business. Um, cool. So here we go. I can hear it. How does it get any better than that? See you after the break, Rebecca Hall, Francesca Studio TV. No one needs to have a money problem, especially you. Yeah, did you hear that? You. You have an unlimited and mostly unaccessed capacity to create money and a financial reality that works for you. Simone Millicis has a brand new book. It's called Getting Out of Debt Joyfully. And right now, when you go to gettingoutofdebtjoyfully.com, if you pre-order the book, you'll get a free online course. What if you can create money in ways no one else can? Just go to gettingoutofdebtjoyfully.com to get your copy today. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Aloha. My name is Jennifer O'Neill, and I'd like to invite you to come join me every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time for my show, Spirit Chat. Spirit Chat focuses on simplifying the process of using the spiritual tools and gifts you were born with 
in a way that fits into your everyday life. I also teach different techniques that will help you learn how to navigate the spirit realm and empower you on your own spiritual journey. So join me this Wednesday as I guide you through the spirit world. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. The cutting edge of conscious radio. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. And we're back from out of space, from Costa Rica. That's all the singing we get, folks. Welcome back. Mm-hmm. Or welcome forward to our little show today on collaborating, working with people. How the hell do you do it? Exactly. <laughs> How can you survive about working and collaborating with people? We're Francesca Fiorentini and Rebecca Holt. So, Francesca, what are some of the tools that you like to use the most when things start to get ugly with the people you're working with? Hmm. Um, sometimes when I'm with them physically, I'm just taking a break, going and say, and, you know, I'm Italian, I love coffee, I'm going to have a coffee. Then I might just go for it <laughs> in a toilet and a scream. <laughs> really like whatever comes up yeah. and if you don't have the capacity at that moment to <clears throat> to handle it because mm-hmm. most of the time that's what we learn like to handle things do we need to fix them just take my mom always told me count 10 times and then talk since I was a kid I was like what does that mean but in a way it's more like take be, a break take a break <laughs> be present with the situation like be willing to say okay and come back in two seconds, I have something else to do. And looking at, even if it's the, the most ugliest or most uncomfortable things that could happen with people working with you, like, is it truly? That's a question, right? So one of, the, one of the tools I love the most is really, okay, what can I be here that will create a totally different reality? Mm, I like that one. And that's a question that we use a lot of questions in access consciousness and enjoy business, really not to get the answer, but to step into a different space. We call it space. It's a different energy. It's like a sort of relaxation for you. You don't have to, you know, have your brain explode. Mm -mm. What if you actually, as we talked just right before, you have your own back? That's asking that question is mainly, mainly have your own back to get back to you and say, hmm. Is this truly too dramatic? <laughs> what can I be here to change totally this situation or whatever? Yeah. So, yeah. And you, Rebecca. I love this. This is, I mean, even though we work in a brilliant company, that doesn't mean that this, these situations don't come up. And one of the things for me is in Access Consciousness, we talk about your awareness and your allowance. And so often when you start to get annoyed, when things frustrate you, when you're not having as much ease, you can ask, okay, has my awareness exceeded my allowance? Whoa, what does it mean? Tell us more. So it's when your level of awareness of everything that's going on around the world is huge. It's full on. I've got my hands in the air. I'm trying to, like, show you how big it is. But then your awareness, your allowance is super, super tiny then everything you're aware of and everything that, you know, you're able to know about everything that's going on becomes without ease, without yeah. ease, joy, and glory. And so here's a wonderful thing about the Joy of Business and Access Consciousness tools. They are easy. And so to change this, you can simply go, okay, so everywhere my awareness is exceeding my allowance, I destroy and uncreate it all. And then we use the Access Consciousness Clearing Statement. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, nature, it's boys and beyond. And what would it take for my allowance to exceed my awareness? Whoa. (sighs) (laughs) I don't know if you perceive it, but there is more lightness. Yes. And just like a nicer energy. Like it's relaxing. 
the world feels a little bit more okay now. It's like, ah, oh, like even though there's no stressful situation going on at this in this 10 seconds, there still is that contribution of that energy when you're asking questions and you're willing to receive the possibilities that show up. One of the other things, you talk about allowance, and it's one of the other, it's like trust. It's mm-hmm. not trust on people that... They will, you know, I trust them. It's really the trust that we talk about in Access Conscious that they will do always whatever they want to do, no matter yes. what. So, but at the same time, these trusting things make them play the game yeah. how they would like to. How, how even it's possible that you, quote unquote, you want to test someone, if you tell them exactly what to do in which way, you have to fill this doc, you have to do this, 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 exactly. Those people, of course, they need direction, but they have also to show you mm-hmm. and themselves their capacity. Yes. So that's actually, for me, it's like the trust. Okay. This is what I desire to have. If they ask me a question, I will explain how to do it. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, go. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, how often do you like being told what to do? Well, <laughs> <laughs> that would be a no. No, no. <laughs> but if you ask for help or like, hey, can you show me how to do this? Then it's at your request. Exactly. And it's much more empowering. Exactly. And so, you know, for, for those of us that are control freaks and hate being told what to do, you know, why would you treat someone that way when it's only going to create frustration for both of you? Exactly. And so this is where, you know, this reality in normal business everyday standard practices would say you educate your staff, you tell them exactly what you want, you show them the process, you tell them what they need to do, you treat them as though you're the one that has the vision and they're the one that does the work. Yeah. But we have a different point of view, basically. And so for us, you know, we're always looking to hire and to choose people that are greater than us, and we hire them for their awareness. We hire them for what they know, for their capacities, for what they will be in this yeah. company. It's like we've all worked with someone that to just create a different energy. Like they walk into the room, and the world feels a bit better. Yeah. And so, you know, that's actually a gift and a capacity and something that we look for to create in our businesses. And so if you look at your staff and the people that you're working with, what if you weren't trying to trust them to do what they should do, Mm -mm. but instead go, all right, these people are going to do what they're going to do. What is it that we desire to create? How can I provide clarity so that they know what we're heading for? And what do they know that can help create that? What do they know that's going to get us down that track and even further? Because when you start to include the contribution from other people, you get to go down all these different paths and open up these new possibilities that weren't available before. And to me, that's when business gets exciting. Exactly. And as well, like, I could hear you guys, like, listening to that, say, we, well, those are all words, you know. And Whatever, then, Rebecca. Whatever. <laughs> and they didn't tell you to cut your awareness. If something pings on you because... The amount of time for us, like we give project to people to take care of, and then suddenly there is something not Mm -hmm. very light or like pinging us in our mind. This is the done. Doesn't mean that you don't have to check or ask them or contribute. You still are the leader of, you know, your own life and your business. But allow also to other leaders to show up yeah. in so many other areas, like in so many ways that you, you maybe don't even expect now. So it's more the amount of time I go to bed and then I'm like, mm, is that like, and then I maybe Skype someone or send in a text or send an email. Sorry, just to check. Is this it all good? Oh, my God. You know what? I actually had a question. So that's the awareness. It's that whisper. That uh, that is sometimes very subtle. Yes. You think you are, are you saying? Crazy. <laughs> crazy or paranoid. You know, paranoid. <clears throat> but what if it's not paranoia? It's really, 
that fine tuned awareness. Exactly. I love that she speaks so well English. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I am English born. <laughs> Gotta be able to speak one language well. You can speak four. <laughs> it's also like the trust on you. Like the on and be honest with you and the trust on you. Because, mm. like it doesn't mean that you have to give everything away. No. Absolutely. Like it's this collaboration, it's multiple size absolutely you know it's just that's the way and it's really so much fun and for us we are me and Rebecca we are very control freak <laughs> very. Yes. and if you don't know what it means but if you are you will know yes um the fact that we, there is certain ways that has to be done in a certain way because for example we look at a lot of accountings as well for our events and we really desire but during the years, if you look at that, Rebecca, how we've been trusting new people, how we've been like receiving the contribution of people that could have been also annoying, annoying, but we have been creating different systems. Yes. Now we need to acknowledge that a few years ago, we were working on systems that were quite slower mm -hmm. and more time consuming than what we are now. And we have been the contribution to create something different yes. with the willingness to have, okay, guys, it's fine, and this has to be done this way, not this way, like, place, that's the result we require. That was our demand for. Yes. And the willingness to trust what you know and to go for it, even in the face of adversity. Yeah. You know, like, we talk, we talked before about having your own back. And it also goes for what do you know? Yeah. Because each of us has a different point of view and will not necessarily always have an, a point of view that will align and agree with everyone else. And so mm -hmm. what we're looking at here is you don't have to discount what you know because someone else has a different opinion. Both opinions can coexist with ease, joy, and glory. They don't have to be having a fight. But what it is is looking at, okay, so this is what I know, and this is what this person is choosing. So what is it that's going to work here? How can we create this together? If we can, mm -hmm. maybe you can't, and that's also not a problem. But is it something that you can work on by yourself, or can you go a different way? How can you go around this? These are all questions that you can ask yourself in this kind of situation. And I love what you say because basically – Yep. Basically, what you say, like, it's not about having a right. No. It's really like, you say so well, you really phrase it so well, the fact of not dismiss yourself, discount yourself yeah. if someone doesn't have your point of view. What if the two points of view, three or four or five or six, are all part of the contribution, big contribution the bigger picture? Because mm. it's not about, oh, that idea is better than mine or... We need to do it this way. Uh oh. So don't leave because we have more to say. Coming up soon. Joy Business Radio on time. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Tune in to the practical, intuitive, mind-body-spirit for the real world with me, host Robin Fritz, Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 Eastern. I'll cover personal and business intuition, animal communication, mediumship, space clearing, past life regression, shamanic insights, energy healing, soul choice, and more, all to help you tap your own intuitive and healing skills. No ifs, ands, or buts. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Putting the fun back in business. Wake up. Go to work, 
come home, watch TV, go to bed, repeat. Business, work, your job, hate it, bored, want to leave it, or business, work, your job, fun, play, joy, fun. Which would you like to choose? You may not know this, but business, your job, work can actually be fun. Check up your business routine. Check out my three-part free video series on putting the fun back in business. Go to accessjoebusiness.com forward slash fun and put the fun back in business. Connecting you with the best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Welcome, Joy Business Radio. This is Rebecca Holt and Francesca Ferentini, <clears throat> and we are talking about collaborating with people. And speaking of collaboration, we are excited about one that is coming up very soon. Mm, I'm very excited, actually. It's I'm excited about the place, but not really. Like the fact to be in at the end of January, mm-hmm. uh, facilitating a three-day masterclass business and this one with you in New York, Manhattan, guys, New York. and also online live stream. Yes, because you know we can't just have one part of the world join us. We're <laughs> way too international, extraordinary for that. But also, it's very easy to live stream from all around the world. All you need is a phone or computer, and you are in. So if you are interested in joining us in exploring what these Joy of Business tools can do with live facilitation, asking your questions mm-hmm. about business, exploring the most phenomenal business manual I have ever seen so far about all the different tools that we use from how to create with energy to sales, creating deals, working with people, money, revenue streams, profit, taxes, anything and everything. And it's also like what the interesting thing, because we have a manual that's brilliant, as you say, with all the tools, but it's also you with your own experience. That will create the difference. It will lift it off the page. Exactly, we will off the page. And how many times we change our manuals based on that? I know access conscious is such a very different technique that doesn't really have to be. We have a right. We just talked a right before, right? It's not about having a right. It's about what will create the greatest. Yes. And the, um, how my life personally have been changing <laughs> in the last. Now I remember it's seven, eight years. With the access consciousness tools, uh, let's, start let's do a quick comparison. <laughs> so, what was the kind of level of money you were making before? Well, I don't really, I don't even want to do. That's <laughs> like I, I didn't have a credit card at the moment either, and uh, yes, I was actually surviving. Okay. I was actually very good at that. Every time I had something to pay, I would have created money right away. I wasn't thriving. Right. And what about now? <laughs> Now I'm on the top, one top percent of my country, the income, and I'm traveling the world. I'm, uh, I just became the worldwide coordinator of access consciousness. Congratulations again, by the way. Thank you so much. <laughs> but it's also like, there is a level of sense of creation with money. Yes. It's, it's really like, it's not about choosing to fly in business class or having a very nice hotel. It's just, it's really about, how can I use money and invest money to create greater? Mm. It's it's because before it was really this all the time like oh I had I need this money to pay this I need this money to pay that. No, what is money is not the source of creation. Money is how Gary say like um, but it's also like what if money are fun? Yes, that's the point. Yes. You know, one of the projects with Joy of Business that you will be able to purchase is the 2020 Joy of Business Planner. And My um, God, they are beautiful. Thank My you. God. Thank you for you have been the one. I was a designer. Yes. designer. Designed by Rebecca Hall. I didn't think that was a thing that you could say, but apparently it yeah. is. But so um, one of our Joy of Business Gaggle members, Paul, has been selling them and we had some cash for Joy of Business, so I, call, I started calling it champagne money. 
Aww. Um, because we've been using it to buy champagne for the joint business facilitators. And so he comes up to me and he's like, Rebecca, here's some more champagne money. You know, <laughs> it's just so much fun yeah. to be able to, um, you know, have a lightness with money because, you know, thank God, Mm-mm. like really, I mean, money for me has it's never been honestly that important in my life. I knew it was something I needed to have. But whenever I had to go into a more serious conversation, like with accountants, taxes, doing my GST, things like that, it would stress me out because it seemed so serious. And like I wasn't able to be professional enough, business-like enough, I'm doing it properly, doing it right. Mm -hmm. And so for me, what's been one of the greatest joys is not to have to get it right or perfect which is a bit of a thing for me, but to be able to have fun with it. Yeah. Things like champagne money. Yeah. You know. And uh, and more than that. Yeah. Because, like, we do this based from this little things because when you make so significant as money as well. Yes. And, and if you have the possibility, just check it out on the Access Consciousness shop. There are a couple of brilliant books yes. written by Gary Douglas about one is not money's not the problem, the problem is you who are. you are. The Enjoy Your Business author Timo Melazes. Then there is the work book. Yes, How to Become Money Workbook. Yes. Which is a very different way to create money from the energy of it. And you know, we you've heard us use a lot of weird phrases like energy, contribution, change, awareness. The list goes on. Hey, space. <laughs> what the fuck is space? <laughs> There's hard track or what? Exactly. And so this book is another very unusual way to start building a different financial reality mm. for yourself. So if these have piqued your interest, if you're still listening to this, Mm-mm. there may be something there for you. So you can go to accessconsciousness.com, click on shop, or you can even go to Amazon and search these titles. Money Isn't the Problem You Are by Gary Douglas and Dr. Dane here, Joy of Business by Simone Millicent, and the How to Become Money Workbook by Gary Douglas. It's also like how you say, like, we just started, we we were mentioning our class, right, our co-creation, and this is, this the topic of this radio show is really like working with and collaborate with Mm -hmm. others. One of the things that came across when you collaborate with others is like a little bit of a competition. Yes. Because I'm better than you, you don't have to succeed more than mm-hmm. me, otherwise I will lose my my position or my role. Actually, what if not? It's not true. You have been the one creating class, this class, and then you told me, you know what, would you like to come with me and do it? And I remember, I was like, yes, let's do it <laughs> together. But the generosity of spirit of you invited me to share with you this class and co-create. It's very unique, and I told you. Yes. Well, I have a very new love affair with New York. I recently (laughs) went there for the first time in in, um, the summer of 2019, and I just knew I had to return as many times as possible. Yes, that's what I said. (laughs) And we have a very busy schedule, and um, trying to find some little gaps can sometimes be challenging. So I found the gap um, on between, in between two different classes in the Access Consciousness schedule I was working. And I was like, ha! <laughs> <laughs> found you. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Quick, lock it in. Do it. Rome, New York is a direct fly, so we can do it. It's fantastic. Rome, Rome to New York. Our yeah. lives sound terrible. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> but for me, you know, I'm not looking at how to become the person that succeeds the best doll on my own. Because the one thing that I know is that if I am willing to contribute and to create with other people that are willing to contribute and create, then our reach is 10 times further. And, you know, for me, one of the targets with Joy of Business is that every single person in business, and spoiler alert, if you have blood running through your brains, you're in the business of your life. Exactly. Please don't have run, blood running through your brains. Make sure it's through your veins. Just want to <laughs> clarify medically for a second. Um, if you've got blood running in your brain, we need to get you to a doctor. <laughs> exactly. Um, but if it's in your bl- veins, we're good. Your business. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. And so for me, 
every single person that desires to create a greater business, that desires to wake up and have joy in their working day life, to me, and to know that they have possibilities, that they have choices, that they can truly create the success they know should be possible. And for me, that's my target with mm-hmm. Joy of Business. So what is this class create if it's by myself? That's a certain energy. Hey, what happens when I add Francesca to this creation? Whew, that has a greater energy for this particular class in this moment in time. Now, that doesn't mean I have to do everything with Francesca. You know, attach her to my side as my BFF. She can no longer do anything without me. <laughs> that would be a little bit like a limpet. Yeah. I'm no, not no. a very good limpet. No. Um, I like to have multiple playmates. Yeah. And so that's one of those things. But it, for this class, it creates yeah. more energy. And when you can create a greater energy, you can create more sex, sex, success. The class grows. All the things happen. And we are like, you know, the we are we are very looking forward to it and see really what that will be. And but exactly, we are already enjoying it now and receiving the yes. contribution that we're talking about. And also, I don't know what is the next thing. And sorry, if I'm not asking me neither. Me neither. <laughs> perfect. So we will we will hear the music. So no, but I want to think like we've been facilitating quite a lot. So we actually, if it's the first time you are still listening to us facilitation we talk facilitating it's not teaching because it's like really to guide you guys like on what mm-hmm. you know that's yes. facilitating you what you know and then bring you where you want to go basically exactly it's not telling you what you have to do right no, no. we're not no, very no, good no. at that no but the feedbacks actually are pretty cool they're pretty good yeah so, yeah so one of the things as well like we've been facilitating quite a lot in different areas and in business Quite, that's one of my preferred topics too. So I'm like, you know, sometimes like that moment of that people, something that you remember that been changing someone else's life, or changed your life, yes. or you've seen the change. That so also, yeah. Well, I mean, with this business done different class, some of our the JCFs have coined it the best class ever so far, <laughs> because every time we facilitate this class, we're just like, oh my gosh, this class! Like I know I've facilitated this before, but it's just it's so wonderful. exciting. We just have so much joy and enthusiasm for it because we see the change. <laughs> we see the changes. Like one of my clients that came to one of these classes, she had came with the sense, you know, she's a designer and she's a wonderful friend of mine now. And she just creates some really beautiful jewelry, but she was so stuck and so like locked down in her creativity. She couldn't even pick up a pencil to sketch anymore. She was so stressed about her business. And I talked to her a few months later, and she said, oh, my God, Rebecca, I've made all these jewelry pieces. I'm sketching. I'm able to create. And so many things have created for her because she was able to empower herself to use these tools to change her perspective, to get herself out of her box where she was stuck, Mm -hmm. and to create a different business. Wow. Thank you for that. Yeah. Another thing, like, I remember, isn't that much? Yes. So, if you want to know more about the business and different costs, you can go to accessjoybusiness.com forward slash Rebecca Hall, or you can go to accessconsciousness.com forward slash Francis. Good to see you, me. Me. Thank you. See you guys. Thank you. What do you hate about business? And do you want to change it? If you don't want to change anything about your job or business, Stop listening. You're all good. If you'd like to have money just for the fun of it and stop the negative self-talk, check out Joy of Business. This is about knowing what you know about business and creating more than you can imagine. Access Joy of Business 101 classes offered around the world. Go to accessjoybusiness.com forward slash 101. As difficult as it is to believe, There are places in Africa where human traffickers sell albino children and their body parts for use in magic rituals. Humanity Healing International is actively working in Uganda to change this paradigm. The Albino Rescue Project finds albino children who are at risk and places them in safe schools and environments where they can learn and grow free from fear. To learn more or to sponsor a child, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Are you trying to get from point A to point B and need a little advice? Connect with the counselors at Ohm Times Advisors. 
Whether you're looking for a life coach or a spiritual intuitive, the advisors participating at advisors.omtimes.com were carefully chosen based on their gifts, skills, and professionalism. Om Times Advisors, connecting you with the best advisors in the business. Hello, I'm Lisa Berry. Join me every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time for Light on Living, a chance to see new, hear different, and feel more as I shine the spotlight on all the ways to lighten the load of life's challenges. Light on Living is your link to that new way you're looking for, that new understanding that will enhance your life, and that positive connection that will support your growth. So join me and you'll gain insight and start to see things in a new way that motivates you. Your conscious connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Oh no! It's the end! No, I'm Just, so sorry. I know. Just kidding. It's Well, we've got a little bit longer, like 10, 15 minutes. That's it. What are we going to give these guys? Because it's the, the finale, the final countdown. Anyway, we have so much fun, as you as you can, could have noticed. And, yeah, and we are quite tired. It's lots of long day of work and, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's been. But at the same time, like, you were talking about the, the, uh, this phenomenon Business on different master classes, mm. three days. And we talk a lot in this reality, like, you know, in business, that like you have to motivate yourself. You have to, what is motivation? Every time people were talking about motivation to me, I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Why should I motivate myself? What does it mean? Instead of seeing and catching where actually are your abilities. Mm. That's actually what the master class for me had been done for myself yes. and also for my clients. Yeah. I remember this lady that she was, I mean, she was like a home wife, a housewife for a long time, already over mm-hmm. 60, but still a facilitator and lovely, lovely lady and lovely lady are contributing to other and things. So mm. and after the class, she has been a facilitator for a long time, never created any seminars, any workshop. After that, she came to my class just because she loved me and Aww. she wanted to contribute to me, like a auntie, you know? Yeah. So she went really like with no expectation. I don't have what I will have, you know, out of this. Mm-hmm. She really came to stay there for me. Stay there for me. She paid and everything. But then it was like the most phenomenal uh, change for her. Because then she really has been looking at, well, that's for the feedback from, from, from that I got. Like, she has been looking at her abilities and capacities in mm. an area that she didn't even think. No, possible. she didn't even consider that she had some. Exactly. And then start having more clients in the job and start enjoying a little bit more of the money that she was making and living a different life. And mm. today as well, like, she still talk me about that class and I was like hmm so for for me and I know it's for you as well Rebecca it's the love and the joy of facilitating those classes yes. it's amazing when we are on, when we are on that side of the, bar, the stage like watch out exactly yes if you don't like <laughs> to change if you don't like business or you don't like to change your life that's not your place for you no it's not your place if you don't want to have more fun go away yes <laughs> in the nicest possible way exactly. there are better things you could do for three days exactly please. but if you are desiring and you're listening to this conversation going yes this is more of what I am looking for this energy this worldwide Mm-mm. perspective because truly we work mm-hmm. in 170 countries we are creating in multiple languages multiple different businesses revenue streams formats of business even and different so, culture exactly and so if you're looking for more of that kind of expansion or just a bigger world mm-hmm. just full stop bigger world <laughs> stop yeah then check out this class see if it's for you so when does it start on 31st it's the 31st of january? of january 2020 that's our start date oh my god it's very close to 2020 though it is that's exciting. It is That's exciting. That's a nice number. Yeah. Just to say, because, yeah. Do you have total clarity? Do you have 2020 vision? 
<laughs> <laughs> I had my schedule. I thought that. Uh, it's interesting because there is a vision, but it's not really a vision. It's a sense of a life, right? And it's really day by day, choice by choice, that you're going to create that vision that you're talking yeah. about. We don't really care if people are telling you, do you have your vision? Tell them yes, it's fine. Do you have <laughs> everything under control? Yes. And you don't have to tell anyone. Exactly. That's the point. Yes. And, you know, speaking of, because the new year always brings up motivation, which is what we were talking about earlier. And I always see in these, you know, these online entrepreneur groups, people talking about, if you stay at home and work, like, how are you motivated? How do you get motivated? And the thing is, when you know where you're going, you know what targets you have, you know the world that you're looking to create with your business and with your life, you don't need motivation because you just make your next choice. Exactly. And then you make another one and another one and another one. And from there, it just springboards or snowballs into a world where you're just choosing Constantly, all the time. All the time. And it becomes natural. And fun. Exactly. Yeah. So we would like to invite you to that reality. So for the last five or so minutes, Francesca, what tools should we give people from the business down there? It was like a mm. pop, pop, sneak peek. What's your preferred account? My favorite one. Yes, favorite, yeah. One of the ones that's coming up, I think, because it's tax time in the U.S. coming up soon, is Joy of Taxes. Ooh. Which is a bit of a cheeky topic, actually, and it's very, very funny to me, which is why we've called it the Joy of Taxes. Because it's one of those things where you think that you have to create it in a way that is not necessarily always fun. Mm -hmm. And so for us, like one of the things that we're always looking for in the future is, you know, what do we need to create? Where do we need to put our money to create? And are you willing to pay your taxes with no point of view? Yeah. You know, like there is there's the, the saying, the only two things in life that are, are definite are death and taxes. <laughs> So, like, what if you didn't have to have a resistance to that? Because whatever you resist and react to or align and agree with gets you stuck in polarity. And when you're in polarity, you don't have choice. You don't see the possibilities. You don't have this world that we've been talking about for the last 50 minutes. And so, for me, the joy of taxes is an invitation to get over yourself and everything that you've taken on from other people, from your other experiences mm -hmm. with taxes and to create a different reality for yourself so it's easy for you. That's cool. That's like, whoa, <laughs> listening to you. Yeah, but that's what about like, you, Fancy? That's true. Like, it's, and something that came through lately as well, like about this topic, so I've been changing a lot of stuff and being honest with you, it's really like, um, it's a general actually, it's mm -hmm. a general tool it's not just like the business and different but we talk about this as well like the fact that if you are willing to be honest with you no matter what everything that work works and everything that doesn't work you know the reason yes why <laughs> don't want to say that but you know so you don't have to hide to your own self or to yourself. Yeah. So looking at that, I've been learning with Gary Douglas because lately he told me, just you know. I was like, damn, truly. <laughs> so I can say it's the, my, I don't know, my childhood problem or to be in my family or, you know, well, my colleague. No, you know. So that's actually one of the hugest, like the fact of being honest with you. Mm -hmm. And be willing to see any little corner that you haven't been like, you know, uh, using your broom lately, like to clean Cleaning them up, up, clean them up. Your dirty corner. Exactly, your dirty <laughs> corner. And look at them. Okay, I'm here. Because everything that's been showing up in your life, anything, bad, good, ugly, amazing, you have been choosing them and you've been creating so if you are the creator, you can also change yes. everything. That's one of the amazing, like the most amazing tools I love, the yes. fact that we can change anything. Like Gary says, whatever you have the capacity to destroy, you also have the capacity to create. Yes. So some of the places where you've got maybe what you would call like a mess in your world, the biggest messes in your world, you also have a phenomenal capacity in that area. And what if you explored creating that capacity 
And what if there was so much more available for you than you thought there was? What if what we've been talking about on this conversation, just the beginning, just the tip of the iceberg mm-hmm. is the moment It day. is, actually, yeah. It's so much fun. It's really yeah. the top of the iceberg. And what, because as Rebecca said, if you have any other question, if you want to reach us, like www.accessconsciousness.rebeccaools or slash Francesca Fiorentini, you can reach us, send us an email, find us in, in, in Facebook, in Instagram. If you have any other questions. Yes. Know, We'd please. love to meet you guys. Yeah. We want to talk to you. It doesn't matter if you come to the classes that we do or not. Nice. Like, I actually met someone on the street in Melbourne that was had listened to this podcast. Really? Yeah. It was so cool. <laughs> and I was like, holy crap. This is awesome. So, <laughs> if you ever see us, please reach out to us. We want to meet you. Yeah. We want to know that you're alive and out there in the world and creating joyfully. Yeah, exactly. That's one of the main things. Yeah. Because how the world will be if we will add joy, like we will be more joyful and we will not even... Terrible idea. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just terrible. stop there. <laughs> Just stop it. I know. I love too much joy. You know, joy and happiness is one of my targets. That's so bad. She's terrible. And terrible. Yeah. But I was very poor when I was like looking at happiness and joy in a way that felt a little bit, you know, nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I knew it what it meant. And then when I when I came across the access consciousness tool, I said I knew that this was possible. Yes. This is an. Why should you should be angry? Why yeah, she be or like suffering, or unhappy, or, or unhappy. anything other than ease, joy, and glory. Exactly. What if all of life came to you with ease and joy and glory? And please, guys, if it's the first time you're still listening to us, this is congratulations. Amazing. Congratulations, <laughs> exactly. Thank you. And has just what Rebecca just say, like all my life comes to me with these joy and glories. This is an amazing tool. Yeah. Just try it out 10 times in the morning, 10 times in the evening. Oh, it's me. It's over. Bye. Bye, guys. We love you. Thank you so much. Stop. <laughs>